What's up guys? It's me, Maligator Mom here with my boy Riot. And today our video is going to be all about crates. So if you're like most of us, you're probably using something very similar to this model. This is very inexpensive, very readily available. You can find them at Petco, Walmart, you name it. And they're super lightweight. They're just very, very convenient. But today that is all going to change because I ordered something that cost a little over $2,000, so it was definitely a splurge purchase for me, but I'm gonna share with you what it is and why I felt like this splurge purchase is definitely worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna haul these bad boys out here and it's gonna take just a second because they're super, super heavy. Okay, you guys, so I'm getting ready to unbox this, but I thought, oh, well, I'll just grab my, you know, box opener here, but look at this. It literally says not to use this, but we're going to go ahead and use it anyway, because I'll just be really careful. I, I don't know what else to use. Like, I feel like what's the difference between this and a pair of scissors? Like, I don't know. I don't know what else I could use. I'm not gonna use my keys. I'm not gonna use my fingernail. Like, I'm gonna open the box, but rest assured, I'll be careful. Okay, so I just want to show you guys here what it takes to put this together. So it's really not very complicated, but I did want you guys to see how it comes and just how much work you're going to have to put into putting it together. It really doesn't seem like it's going to be that much. Alright guys, the first set of bolts are in on the side. Now it's time to put on the door. on those little wrenches are not very fun to use uh, I have chipped all of my nail polish and broke a nail but I would still call it a success so we're gonna move on to the next step washers on before I stuck all of those bolts in the bottom so as I'm going through I'm going to have to pop them back out and add the washers don't make my mistake that difficult at all um, so let's take a closer look all right so here it is this is the gunner kennel intermediate size all put together as you can see it looks kind of like one of those crates that they bring the dinosaurs in from Jurassic Park like that's literally what this thing reminds me of so it wasn't that hard to put together, honestly, but it is very, very solid. It has a latch handle here. And this was extra. This doesn't actually come with it, but this is the mat that I bought to go in here to make it a little more comfortable for the dogs. And as you see right back here, there's a drain. 
so that you can easily spray these out and clean these. And then there's the drain right there so that water doesn't settle into the bottom, which is super, super smart. Makes cleaning the crate very, very easy. Latch door has the lock and unlock here. You just push on it to lock it, right? Lock down at the bottom too, it looks like. Missed that. So lock at the top and the bottom. And then this thing's not, not gonna be letting me in. So to unlock it, we just push this and this and open again. It also comes with a set of keys. So this is a locking door. How awesome is that, right? Super, super cool. If you're wondering what this blank spot is here, um, you can custom order a nameplate. So I'm gonna custom order some plates that say Riot, Fury, and whatever we name this new puppy. Um, you've got these really nice heavy duty straps here, which you're gonna need because this is a pretty heavy kennel. I'm not gonna lie. These are very, uh, very heavy, a lot heavier than these typical plastic crates that I am used to, right? With the top of my foot, I can manipulate this. It's very lightweight, right? And come down here and just do -do -do, unscrew these nice and easy. This whole thing just comes apart really nice and lightweight. This, however, is suited for travel. This is crash tested. And um, so if you guys do a lot of traveling in the car, like I can't, I can't manipulate this nearly as easy with my foot, right? It takes, it takes a bit of pressure to move this one around, much different than this, okay? So it's a much heavier crate is what I'm trying to convey there. Um, but overall, like this is just, you can't beat this quality. And if you're gonna be traveling with your pup and you wanna make sure that they are protected, if, you know, God forbid you ever got into a car accident, um, I really think that Gunner Kennels is gonna be the way to go. And I have got two more of these bad boys to put together. So glad that I made this purchase. It was definitely a splurge. Um, all three of these kennels together cost me a little over $2,000. So it was a splurge purchase, but just looking at the quality, just feeling the quality alone, um, absolutely worth every penny. All right, guys, so if you are interested in one of these amazing Gunner Kennels, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the uh, link to the website down in the description of this video. There you're gonna be able to find out all the information you're gonna wanna know, sizing, um, crash rating testing, all of that information is gonna be there. I know that this is a made in America company, so that's super awesome. We love supporting jobs here at home. And um, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as always, ring the bell for notifications. My next video is going to be all about puppy products. I'm getting ready to bring a new Malinois puppy home from Houston, Texas here on Friday. I fly out on Friday, pick up my puppy, turn around and fly immediately home, same day. And so I wanted to make sure that I got a video up for you guys before I bring her home, showing you what I've purchased to get ready for her arrival, the different puppy products that I like to use, that I believe in. And um, yeah, make sure you check out my next video. Go ahead and leave any questions or comments you might have down here and I'll make sure to get back to each and every one of you. Thanks so much. So there he is in the back of my Jeep. I'm definitely not going to be able to fit two side by side. Um, this one might fit with the seat up. I'm not sure. Ignore my dirty Jeep. I have dogs, as you guys know. Um, so 
that might be a pretty big drawback. Um, but truth be told, I don't go anywhere with them both at the same time very often. I'm usually doing specific training for each of them. And so I don't usually bring them both. I usually train one at a time. Good boy. But um, yeah, not their fault. It's my fault. My vehicle's just too small. Huh? We might have to trade up soon. What do you guys think? What should my next vehicle be? What do you think, Fury? Should we get a truck so you guys can both fit? What do you think, Riot? Do we need a truck now? Do we need a truck? Can you show everybody how you get in? Up, up. Good boy. Oh, no, he says, I don't, I don't want to do that. 